ICR.org since Answers in Genesis is going to be down for at least another couple days according to their email. But, uh, okay, I'm going to refute Frank Sherwin's article, PB&J, Painful Blisters, Painful Blisters and Jellies. You can call this less than layman <laughs> if they had those kind of things, those kind of uh, ratings like AIG does. Okay, so first he says that jellies, jellyfish, are, uh, Amazing creatures composed of 96% water. I just like to point out that humans are 80 80% to 85%. I can't remember which one it is. Water, and the reason why jellyfish are 96% water is because a they live in water and b they are very simple creatures with a lot of space. Therefore, they would be mostly water. It's not the, that it's not that they're composed of water; it's that they have a lot of space filled with water. Um, next, he says that the origin of jellyfish. Um, Nidaria is uh, is very obscure, but we know that they hail back to at least the Precambrian. Well, Precambrian is as far as back you can go, so they hail back to the Precambrian, and they're most likely one. Of, they're most likely one of the the first animal species genus because I guess it's it's a, it's a phylum, whatever. It, they're one of the oldest families. God. Why do I keep doing that? They're probably one of the oldest creatures because they are so simple and because they um they are uh, found in Precambrian strata, and plus they only have two germ layers, whilst everything except for sponges have three. Um, those are the mesoderm, ectoderm, and endoderm. Um, next, he says. Uh, w because jelly, I I'm just ignoring this. The third and fourth paragraphs because they are just they don't really have anything in them um, next he says because jellies are mostly water one would not expect to find fossils of them especially with the traditional evolutionary explanation of graduate gradual fossil formation but okay what he's ignoring is that they aren't water they're just they okay they're like a balloon if you have a balloon and you fill it with air you don't say that the balloon is 90% air you say that the balloon is filled with air, just like the same thing with jellyfish. Jellyfish are like balloons with water in them, but they're not tied off. <laughs> so it's not that they're composed of water, it's just that water is flowing freely through them because they have a lot of space. Okay, um, so they, the soft parts are what, I mean, when you bury something in the ocean under lots of sediment, it's not going to decompose. And so it's easy to find. It's not easy, but you do find fossilized jellyfish because they. Um, and plus, he's trying to say that um, that when you when they wash up on shore, they decompose. But that's because they're exposed to air. But when they're in the water, they're not exposed to air. And then when they're underneath um, tons of sand and silt, they're not even exposed to anything. So therefore. Yes, you do find fossils that have been gradually formed of jellyfish. Um, so that's all I have. This is a short one because it was a really easy one to refute. I'm really bored and annoyed that AIG hasn't been up in a while. But whatever, next week. <laughs> See ya.